two-way, right? The lattice is two-way. You can see that. This way and that way. This is third, third way. This is the three-way one. And when you put in the strong pieces, the key pieces, these are the key pieces, this effectively makes it four-way. So it becomes a four-way lamella. There's so many names for this. I'm beginning to think it's, uh, I'm overdoing it with the names thing. I've called it battery helix. It's a use structure. It's also what I call Evas Tegrity. It's also a four-way lamella. It's also a single layer lattice shell barrel vault. All these names. But, uh, if I had to pick one of these names, I think I'd like, I like the idea to catch Evas Tegrity. I like that. Elastic Tegrity. already the structure is taking, it's absorbing the energy, it's delivering the energy right now. It's irrigating the energy, as we said, and it begins to take its shape as we put each one in. You can see it curving up now. And if you were to do, it's a very lightweight structure, so I think if you were to do this, in a similarly, similarly proportioned pieces of wood with the same sort of uh, relationship to uh, Young's modulus, then you could actually probably do it in this on its back like this and then swing it round or somehow lift it into its position. And I've got cramp. Yes, that's the way. <laughs> I've still got cramp. Oh. Maybe get a shot from the end of it as well, maybe you can see that uh, bit, bit better, better to see it curve, you can see it curving up from this end sort of thing, you know. Maybe you could do that, it's alright. This is directed. I'll do it from this side, okay? From the other side. Start in the middle, keep the keep the energy supply equal. Just in case it does decide to crack at this vitally important moment. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. If it snaps in two now, I'll cry. Will I? No, maybe not. Okay, magic. What moment of magic? Ready? One, two, three. Let's see if we can get this to do its performance magic. See what it does. Oh, let's see. Just want it to go there straight away. Gingerly, nicely. And we can see that the, the strong pieces, the key pieces that supply the elastic strain energy are now irrigating the energy through the structure. See? And we just keep doing that. Now, if we had a, a bigger lattice, let's say, we would have a more sort of, uh, yeah, it would just be a, well, you'd see it maybe a bit better, a bit clearer, you know. Oops. That just demonstrates that this is a living, breathing thing. It's not, um, it's not a, 
it's it's in the here and now. It's not. Uh, it's real energy. Now, I'm not going to push it any further than that. I'm just going to try the other side as well. <coughs> and as it takes, goes from its elastic stage into its plastic stage, it will keep on deforming slightly. That's okay because it still maintains its closed system. And once you get it to the upright position, we'll be a little more, um, what's the word, cavalier about it, and we can go for it. But at the moment, that's all we do. Now, we lift it upright, see what it looks like. There we go. So, it looks like a crab, honestly, it looks like a crab with its arms out, sort of thing, isn't it, really, really? But as we, um, so then we can maybe tighten up this, these the three-way and make it into the four-way stronger. Gently does it. And I think we'll just leave it like that for the moment. And let it set. I'm going to realise that I'm going to have to sort of uh, make this a little shorter so that because the model I originally made made it was a little bit better than this, wasn't it? It's, it wasn't so long at the ends there. Mm -hmm. I've gone, gone a wee bit overboard at the end of this. But that shows you the difference between it being a two way structure to it being a what did you see? A four-way? Four-way lamella. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what lamella actually means, but I, know, I understand that, that, that that's how this kind of structure is similarly described as you know, lamella. But I don't know whether you can see in the camera. If you see it, maybe shot from this angle, maybe, where you can see this, all these, these points there on the so-called nodes, you get sort of a dimpling effect. So you get, so you, you can see that the shape is helical on the outside, it curves over, but it also dimples as well. It dimples and it bulges. There's the bulge, there's the dimple. Dimple, bulge. And that's because of the sliding effect. You get, we essentially have a, a skewed lattice at 45 degrees, and then we have a normal lattice at 90 degrees. And the one is sort of superimposed over the other, so you get that twisting effect. You get twisted like that sort of thing. And then when you put it's the key pieces, the, the solid pieces that provide the energy. Then. So it's just like switch. It's like it's like almost like a double layer lattice, and then, and you twist it configuration at 45 degrees. 